What's up guys, this is Miles from What's Your Tag, and I'd like to introduce a new segment, the how-to section. I've been playing a lot of Monster Hunter lately, and I thought I'd take the time to kind of explain how some of the specific weapons work in this game. They kind of... In Monster Hunter 3, they just throw everything at you at one time. When you start the game, you have one of every single weapon, and you're kind of just left to your own devices as far as figuring out how they work. So I kind of wanted to make some episodes of how to use specific weapons and little tips and tricks for each individual weapon. The first one I wanted to focus on is probably the hardest one in the game to use, and that's the hunting horn. People kind of underestimate it. It's kind of a goofy weapon, some people call it. But um, once you figure out exactly how it works, you can do some really impressive things with it. So if you look at your equipment and you look at the horn you have equipped, it will give you a series of melodies. And each of these melodies, when played in a certain order, will activate certain buffs or, in some cases, attacks. The first page here will tell you the different notes you can play with this horn. So with the specific horn I have equipped, the white notes are your basic X attack. So you play X attack. That's going to give you a white note on the little music grid you see underneath my health bar. If I play X and A at the same time, that's going to give me a light blue note. And then if I just do an A attack, that'll give me a dark blue. Together, that creates a buff. And oh goody, there's a great jag. Okay, so, well, I'm going to run over here and avoid this for a little bit. And as you can see with that buff I did, I am not losing any stamina at all, which is awesome. <laughs> Incredibly handy for situations like that. So I'm going to go ahead and run over to the little, uh, the base camp here so I can do this without any interruptions. Okay. So yeah, sorry, as I was saying, you have the different, three different notes, and doing those notes in various orders will activate various buffs. So the self-improvement one is probably one of the most important ones you can do. By just doing X twice, you'll see that the two notes are highlighted, and then if you hit the R button, you'll activate the song. So my movement speed is increased when I have my weapon out. So now when I'm holding my horn, I can run a lot faster. If I do that same series again, it will activate a secondary buff, attack deflection prevention, which is incredibly useful for combat. It'll avoid all those annoying times when you're hitting the Legombi's knees of steel and you'll just bounce off stunned. You no longer get stunned with this buff. You can just swing away, hit any spot of the monster, and not have to worry about bouncing off. It's incredibly useful. I will also show you a little trip, uh, trick <laughs> involving basically playing a song two times in a row. Like when you have a specific song queued up, you hit the R button. If you continue to press the R button, it will activate a secondary buff of the same song. So a defense boost and then you'll get a bonus boost just by pressing R again. So that's a little trick I just kind of learned on accident with the hunting horn. The basic combat for this horn is rather slow, so that can be a major turnoff for some people. But um, like all the weapons in the game, if you figure out how to use them right, you can do some pretty good combos. Oops. Oops, the daisy. So yeah, as you can see, if you get a good string going, you can keep these combos rolling. And a lot of it revolves around the A loop. Essentially, queuing up A with almost any weapon in the game will activate a loop where there's not necessarily a huge delay between attacks. So yeah, that's the basics of the hunting horn. I hope that helps. Again, if you just look in your equipment, it'll give you a breakdown of all the specific buffs that you can do. 
and with almost all buffs you can activate that double song bonus. Yeah, I'll do uh, be releasing a series of videos for the other weapons and uh yeah, see you soon. Later.